So during the first year of its life, an infant is building a lot of structure mm -hmm. about the world that does inquire experiments and um, some first principles reasoning and so on. And in this time, there is usually no personal self. There is a, um, a first person perspective, but it's not a person. This notion that you are a human being that is interacting in a social context and is confronted with an immutable world in which objects are fixed and can no longer be changed, in which the dream can no longer be influenced, is something that emerges a little bit later in our life. Mm -hmm. And I personally suspect that uh, this is something that our ancestors had known and we have forgotten. Because I suspect that it's there in plain sight in Genesis 1, in this first book of the Bible, where it's being described that this creative spirit is hovering over the substrate, mm -hmm. and then is um, creating a boundary between the world model and sphere of ideas, earth mm -hmm. and heaven, as they're being described there. And then it's uh, creating um, contrast, and then uh, dimensions, and then space. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it creates organic shapes, and um, solids, and liquids, and builds a world from them, and creates plants and animals, gives them all their names. And once that's done, it creates another spirit in its own image but it creates it as man and woman, as something that thinks of itself as a human being and puts it into this world. And the Christians mistranslate this, I suspect, when they say this is uh, the description of the creation of the physical universe by a supernatural being. Mm -hmm. I think this is literally a description of how in every mind a universe is being created as some kind of game engine by yep. uh, a creative spirit, our first consciousness that emerges in our mind even before we are born. And that creates the, uh, the the interaction between organism and world. And once that is built and trained, the personal self is being created, and we only remember being the personal self. We no longer remember how we created the game engine. So God, in this view, is the first creative mind in the it's early... It's the first consciousness. And in the early days, in the early months yes. of development. And it's forget. still there. You still have this outer mind that creates your sense of your of whether you're being loved by the world or not and what your place in the world is right it's something that is not yourself that is producing this it's your mind that does it so there is an outer mind that basically is an agent that determines who you are with respect to the world and while you are stuck being that personal self mm -hmm. in this world until you get to stage six and you destroy the boundary Right. And we all do this, I think, earlier in, in small glimpses. And maybe we're, sometimes we can remember what it was like when we were a small child and get some glimpses into how it's been. But for most people, that rarely happens. 